Hi Tigers, this is a special year to say the least with lots of changes to the schedule and the way we organize learning as a result of COVID-19 and distance learning. For example, this school year, the calendar looks different. The year is divided into four quarters and you will earn a semester's worth of credit for each of the class you pass during each quarter. That means each week of school is really important. For the upcoming quarter, you will have nine weeks to pass your period four, five, six, and seventh period classes. Grades will be posted and mailed once during the middle of each quarter and once at the end of each quarter. Students and families can keep up to date on grades uh, through Jupiter Grades each week. By the end of December, students will have received semester credit for courses they completed, and by the end of May, students will have received a second semester worth of credit. If students fulfill the requirements, by the end of the year, they will have a full year worth of credit in all seven classes and advisory. There are a couple of changes to highlight about quarter two. First, during quarter one, students at Fremont had advisory, period one, two, and three. During quarter two, students have periods four, five, six, seven, and check in with their advisors on Fridays. As you can see here, you will meet with your fourth period teacher on Monday, fifth period on Tuesday, sixth on Wednesday, and seventh on Thursday. Friday will still be a day for power hour to do assignments and to get help. Advisors will take attendance on Fridays through Google Classroom, text, phone, or email, but you will not have a reserve time for advisory class during quarter two. Quarter two starts next Tuesday, October 13th, and ends before winter break on December 18th. In quarter three, you will return to your advisory class along with period one, two, and three. Next week is the first week of quarter two and has a modified schedule. Because Monday is a holiday, we have moved fourth period class to Friday for next week. The rest of the periods will be the same as quarter two. Next week is also our week for student-led conferences. You should already be in touch with your advisor, a parent, guardian, or other family member about scheduling a conference to reflect on quarter one and plan for quarter two. Most classes will be meeting only in the morning next week to allow time for conferences in the afternoon. However, it is important to be in communication with your teachers about this, so please check your email, calendar invites, and Google Classrooms for your quarter two teacher to make sure you know your schedule for next week. Lastly, because grades are due on Friday, October 16th for quarter one, many teachers will allow you to submit missing work for quarter one, even though quarter one ends Friday, October 9th. Make sure to communicate with your teachers about anything you can do to earn the grade you want for quarter one. Lastly, we wanted to share some tips for success while we are in distance learning. We know learning online can be challenging for a number of reasons. You should attend the live classes on Zoom or Meet that your teachers schedule each day. They are working hard to design the best learning experiences they can for you under the circumstances, so you need to join each week. However, more important than that is completing your assignments in Google Classroom. If you attend Zoom class but don't submit any work on Google Classroom, you will likely not pass the class at the end of the quarter. Teachers will use the red exclamation point in Google Classroom starting in quarter two to let you know there is an important assignment you need to complete. Most important of all though is communicating with your teachers and staff. If you are sick or cannot attend classes, you need to let your teacher or another staff member know. Your teachers and staff are happy to help however we can, but you need to let us know what you need so we can figure out the best way to support you. Every day before 6 p.m., you need to check in with your teacher for that day's class for attendance. Even if you cannot join the live class on Zoom or Meet, you are still responsible for engaging by phone, text, email, or Google Classroom. Your first point of contact should be your advisor and your teachers. Please reach out to them with questions about your classes or if you need help in any way. You can always email any of the admin team, but please email Ms. Rivera specifically for help with your attendance or to get a work permit. You can also email fremont at ousd.org with any question and someone will get back to you. Lastly, we want to make sure you know who your case manager and counselor is if you don't already. You can see here that our case managers and counselors are assigned to each academy or SLC. If you don't know who your case manager or counselor is, you can always ask any of us and we will direct you to the right person. We hope this information is helpful and sets you up for a great start to quarter two. See you online next week.